How about them Aggies? Hey y'all, it's Drew and we're back with another Texas A&M recap video. Today we're going over the upset over number four, Florida Gators. Guys, I've been telling y'all for weeks, play the clip. They need to run the ball more, establish the run. That's Jimbo's philosophy. That's what we need to do. Run the football. Man, I've been telling y'all for weeks about this. This is our identity. Also, shout out to the offensive linemen. They played a great game in the passing game and obviously the run game. All right, let's get into the recap of this video. My main points, of course, run the football. I thought we did a great job at that. I think the, the main advantages we had were our third down conversions and our deep ball accuracy from Kellen Mon giving us those big plays. I'll also get into the defense concerns because if we're going to make a run, we need to improve, of course, in all of our weaknesses. Quick stats to break down for y'all. Third down conversions, Texas A&M was 12 of 15, while the Gators were 6 of 9. And for rushing stats, as a team, A&M was averaging 5.4 yards a carry. Florida was 3.8 yards a carry. But more specifically, Isaiah Spiller. 27 carries, 174 yards, 6.4 yards per carry. Those are our stats. Let's get into the recap of the film. Let's go! Okay, so the first series of plays I'm going to show y'all is actually every single play from this drive right here. Down by 11, Texas A&M needs to get the momentum swing in their favor. So they decide to go to a ground and pound, which I believe is their identity, and they're going to use it moving forward. A quick compilation of all the plays that we have. Let's watch them. Isaiah Spiller right here up the left side gets a first down, first and 10, first play. Obviously, hand it back to him again. Another gashing play, 20-some yards. Hand it to him again, bounces it outside, 10 yards. When you get a running back hitting 10 yards, 10 yards, comes up here, gets five, you keep handing him the ball. This is what we need from our offense. Now you go to the one-two punch with Anaya Smith, give it back to Spiller, makes a nice, actually, this is uh, Anaya Smith, one bad play with Kellen Mond following the read. Now you have your one play action pass. Throw it out to the guy. Gets upfield. Finish off the drive with the run. When you can run the ball that many times against the defense and convert and make plays, get points, that is going to wear on a defense and give your team the upper edge. And when you run it so well, not only is your team going to do well, but your offensive lineman is going to do things like this. Get hyped, big fella. Get hyped. That's what I love. Yes. Shout out to the offensive line for a second time. They were great this game. They definitely gave a push for our running backs and set the tone early. Now let's get into Kellen Mond and his ability to convert on third down. Like I said, 12 of 15 in this game. But more importantly, being able to score, being able to make big plays, he had the game of his career so far. So let's look at this touchdown play right here, third and nine. We're going to have a nice little in route from the slot wide receiver. Sorry, the third guy. And you just throw it onto a line. You're reading this linebacker right here. And obviously by him scooting back, you have the leverage. You know, he doesn't scoot back too far to the end zone. You put it on a bullet of a pass for a touchdown. Same thing, third and goal, play action. You're looking at these linebackers coming down and we're just going to throw it over the top. So the ability of him to read plays, we've gone over this the last two weeks, obviously impeccable. Also, shout out to the receivers to have all these great catches. Look at this, Chase Lane twice. Uh, you know, you have these slant routes and to be able to do that, converting on a play, getting down deep into the red zone, and extending those drives. That's what we need as a team. Again, third and eight, late in the game, right? If you don't convert this, you're going to have a long field goal that might not happen and give the other team time. And Chase Lane comes up the middle with a play. Um, one more play. This isn't Kellen Mond, but this is just to the team. Fourth and two, right? We're going for it at this time. Down by four. If we don't get this... Okay, they have the ball. They're up by four. They could come down, score, waste some clock. But we go for it, and Isaiah Spiller gets downhill, gets the first down, but is a great running back, head level, pad level, perfect, stays on his feet, goes for a touchdown. And you love your offensive lineman running downfield with your running back. So third down conversions played a huge part to extend the drives and get that momentum on our side. 
Now let's get into the deep ball accuracy of Kellen Mon. I thought this was amazing reading by him, reading the defense, as well as his accuracy and being able to show that he's not just the system quarterback throwing these dink and dunk passes like he has the past few weeks, takes the top off the defense, and also helps your run game. Play action pass, and when you see this safety come down, you're able to throw a dime for a big play early on. Let's look at it from another angle. You have these two safeties. They're actually going to show you on the broadcast. They come up. Okay, you're reading the safeties, and when this guy comes all the way down to about the 42, you're going to have a cross route, a cross route, and of course, since this guy is here in the middle, he's guarding that, you have one-on-one -on -one with the corner, backside post. I mean, look at the safety. He's literally up here for the 42. Great read, great throw, in stride. Chapman had a great game, RIP to his leg. Now, same thing over here. Play action, offensive line gives them space, throws it deep, touchdown. Let's look at it again. Same safety. He bites on the in route. So, Kellenmon looks at it, takes his hitch step up, throws a deep ball. A little bit underthrown, honestly, but enough to make a difference. That's all I have for pluses on the offensive side. I thought we had so many pluses. Obviously, we got the win. It was a great thing to see poetry and motion from our offense run the football now let's get into how we can improve moving forward i think our biggest weakness is our secondary i think that our cornerbacks and safeties need to you know play a lot better not give up a lot of third down and, and easy routes from wide receivers and getting beat over the top honestly like we did in the alabama game i'm gonna pick on one player and i think that this player I, I've, I've not liked him for a while and i think that he should be benched this is Leon O'Neal. Now, people will say, he makes plays. He's a good player. You got to put a playmaker in space. Of course, he will make plays like this, right? This play didn't count. He got a pick. But in, in, in honesty, this isn't his benefit. Like, he is not the one making the play. It just was kind of the corner's job that he got him out of the route, underthrown, and he was able to catch that. I would argue that any safety playing deep thirds would be able to catch that. In fact, that play actually did not count due to a defensive lineman penalty. But when he's one-on-one -on -one in coverage and he's having to guard someone in the back of the end zone, right here, excuse me, he gives up plays. Now, Pitts is a great player. I understand that. But he gets beat again, okay? Back of the end zone again on that side. And not only that does he get beat third and six, very needed play to get off the field, but he makes bonehead decisions. Ref throws the flag. We don't need to push him out of bounds. We don't need to get upset. Okay? Same thing right here. Okay? Our guy gets pushed. Perfect. Ref is he, he's grabbing the flag. We're about to get another penalty. And I believe that was third down or something. It was going to help us out. But we go and we push a guy. Now we get offsetting penalties. Replay the down. The play was in our favor as well. So we would rather have that play count. But now they don't count. And so now we do it. This is the very next play. So it was third down, third and four, in fact. We would have gotten off the field with a penalty. But now we got to go play. The very next play, what do you do? You get one-on-one. -on -one, you have the cushion. You know your number one responsibility in man defense with no help over the top. Don't get beat deep. Easy. Untouched. Not even playing the ball. Okay? So... That's what I have for today's video. Um, I honestly, at the end, was dogging on Leon O'Neal. I think that he played really poorly. He needs to step up his game, or we need to find another safety to come take his spot. Overall, great game from the Aggies. We're definitely looking like a contender, not a pretender, in college football this year. I'm really hoping to see if we can be consistent, string forward some games, definitely put on some points on teams, not just easily win. But that's all I got for you guys today. Please subscribe, like the video, let me know what you guys have as comments moving forward. I'll be making more Texas a and videos throughout this year. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.